about it. What are you expecting from NVIDIA? How do you see it impacting the broader market today? Uh, it's going to be an important report. Um, NVIDIA is at the center of what has really been this AI secular theme. Uh, they obviously have great demand, so I think investors are, are expecting a great result, but uh, it still could surprise markets. You know, there, there were a lot of investors who got nervous as NVIDIA was selling off and correcting in July, so I think there is going to be potentially some sort of reload and in buying into NVIDIA if the results are good, and, and that's what we're hoping. All right, so you're also hoping that today's a good risk, uh, good day to add some risk. So that's what you're looking at today. Kind of interesting that you think today, ahead of that report, an, a, a good day to add some risk to the portfolio. What's the thinking there? Well, we were, uh, you know, August ha historically has been tough, and we've been cautious for, for August. We were looking for markets to bottom sometime this week, and we were thinking, well, you know, the latest it would be is, is Friday because uh, when markets are soft into Jackson Hole, um, usually you get a pretty nice bounce in the following week. We thought we, we might be in front of that by a couple of days because there's a chance NVIDIA tomorrow, you know, tonight uh, is something that reinvigorates the technology enthusiasm. And if that's the case, then we would rather be two days ahead of that rather than chasing it on Friday. All right, fair enough. Um, you always come to us with your picks. You call them granny shots, basically just easy picks in the current market. So a lot of your picks, they actually seem a bit levered to NVIDIA and the AI trade. One of them is, of course, Salesforce, kind of known as an AI stock tangentially, then also Cadence and then Chipmaker AMD, which will more than likely be impacted by this NVIDIA report. Why buy into these names today? Um, well, these are... Uh AI and technology's role in containing inflation and labor shortage and, and also sort of powering this, all these innovations is, is something that's going to last more than a month or two. You know, it's something that's going to last, you know, potentially the next five, ten years. So I do think you want to own the best quality names. All of them are part of that uh, theme. I think Cadence kind of stands up because it is one of the unsung heroes, you know, one of the names that investors don't realize is so central to the story, you know, with their EDA software and and systems, and I mean, uh, they are really uh, hand in hand with right. everything that's happening with AI. All right, one of the other picks, you're actually getting outside of tech, material sector, we don't talk about it a lot. Um, Muta year for materials, only up 3%. Your pick, CF Industries, they make fertilizer. Why would you buy a fertilizer name today? <laughs> um, well, you know, it's, again, our, our granny shots are designed to find high quality names, you know, with s secular and core growth. and. As you know, uh, fertilizer really is something that is important to, to everything we do because it is part of the production of food and, and feeding the world. And, you know, it is an industry that structurally right. has some support. So it's right. a long, good long-term story.